everyone, so I feel like a total dork. I uploaded this video and it's gone. So I am redoing it. And if you were one of the very few people who saw the other one, I tried to remember everything that was in that video, um, but I added some more too. So hopefully this is still new and fresh to you. So, so this is my September favorites. And first I'm gonna start off with some face stuff. And what I've been using this month, I've been trying to use less on my face because I feel like my face is crying out for help and so I've been trying to do a lot more skincare and wear makeup less but I don't know it's just so fun so I end up putting on more so what I've been using a lot this month is the Leo Lee triple the solution BB cream and this is SPF 30 there's like a pump in this. This one's from Natural Radiance. I really, really like these. They go on a little bit ashy, but once it settles into your skin, your skin, um, it looks like you don't have a lot of face makeup on. So I really, really like this. And when I'm not using that one, I have been using the Visible Lift uh, by L'Oreal. And I used to use the one with a little brush on it and I wasn't sure if it was going to be the same formula and it seems to be pretty much the same so I've been using this one. Okay now the next thing is the L'Oreal uh, Infallible 24 hour gel liner and I really like this it's really super black and creamy. Um, at first I wanted to say that it was better than black track but I wore it the other day when it was really hot out and I did get some smudging under my eyes but um, I want to say it's around eight dollars but it's a really good alternative. Um, if you wear smoky eyes, this is really good to wear as a base underneath that rather than like eyeliner and smudge it out just because it's so, so black. So I really like it. It comes with a brush. I didn't use a brush. I use my own brush because the brush is really big. Um, now the next thing is lip stuff. I have been wearing this combo. I'm not going to share the Kusubo Bombs name even though it's still one of my favorites. But I've been wearing the NYX Bloom uh, lip liner a lot with the kissable balm stain and impassioned which is this gorgeous bright color uh, from MAC and then another lipstick that I have been wearing a lot is enduring berry by L'Oreal and it's one of the infallibles and it's not as moisturizing um, but it's a gorgeous berry color and um, I got this color because the first season of Pretty Little Liars, I loved Hannah's lips all the time because they were this gorgeous berry color. I'm going to swipe the other one too, impassioned. Um, I loved Hannah's berry lips, so I was on the search to find a lip color that was similar, and that's the one I found. And I love it because I don't want to say it's like natural looking, but it's just, it's not red and it's not neon. It's just like brings your face to life, I feel like. So I really, really like this color, and that's 130 Enduring Berry. Now the next thing, I ran out of my moisturizer, and I had really been liking some of the Simple products, so I picked up the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisture, and there's two of them. One was for dry skin, and one was for normal, I wanna say, or oily. Um, so I got the one that's like really moisturizing because I have more dry skin, and I like that this is, um, I want to say it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's not so creamy, it's more like a like gel lotion, if that makes any sense. But your skin just like eats it up and it's not sticky at all. And I feel like your face is really moisturized, but it doesn't feel heavy, slimy, or anything. And right away you can put on your makeup. Like some moisturizers, I feel like you need to wait for it to settle before you put on your makeup. This one feels good right away. So I really like that. And I want to say it was like $10 at Target. Oh, speaking of Target, okay, I haven't been able to wear this yet because it's been so hot, but it promises that it's going to get cooler here in Southern California. But I got this uh, faux leather jacket at Target, and when me and my friend were at Target, there was only one left. This was like a month ago. So I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get it because what if there's no more and, you know, and I, we were flipping out and we were looking for another one for her. Um, and I got the kind of faux leather bomber jacket a couple years ago and I wore it so, so much. So I was like, it's a good investment. So it was a little more expensive, but I had a gift card and I was like, I gotta get it because I love the puff sleeves. I love the fit. It's more tailored. So I just can't wait to wear it because I feel like I'm just going to wear it every day and it's super comfortable. So um, this is a good target find as well. Now the next thing, I went to my bunny foot brush. 
Um, I shared this in a video a while ago. I had been wanting the Sigma brush for so long. Um, it's for like contouring and highlighting. And I shared that it kind of remind me of like a little paw of a little animal. And so I just couldn't get past it. So I couldn't use it because I felt like it was like a little baby puppy foot or something. But I recently started using it again for my highlighter. Um, and then for contouring and I just I I love these brushes I gave uh, one of my best friends the domed kabuki and she was like oh my gosh this is the best brush ever they're just so dense and soft really really like that now the next thing for you nail art lovers um, I have been ordering a lot of these like 3d I don't know if you guys can see that sorry my camera doesn't autofocus um, but I've been using a lot of the 3D nail art, and usually I just use, um, depending on how big the nail art is, sometimes I'll just use like a thicker top coat or I use glue. But I got this glue from Sally's, and it's a brush on glue, so the applicator isn't a dropper, it's an actual brush. And it's so good because you can, after you get the little nail art on, you can push the glue right into all the crevices. And it'll keep them on forever. I had little bows on my nails for over a week and this is with like washing the dishes 10 times a day doing all sorts of stuff they were on until I pulled them off so this is from Sally's and it's just Nail Bliss Pro and I want to say it's like under two dollars okay now this is a food item I love these okay if you are Canadian and you remember Thunder Crunch. I don't know if Thunder Crunch still exists in Canada, but it was my favorite, favorite chip, the Jalapeno Thunder Crunch. So this is the closest I could find, and it's the Kettle Cooked um, Mesquite Barbecue, also the Miss Vicky's Barbecue. I usually don't like anything barbecue flavor, but these are so delicious, like I can eat the whole bag. So that is my yummers thing that I like. Now I love finding out what apps other people like, especially like photo related um, and stuff like that. So one of my favorites right now is Line Camera and it's this one right here. It looks like a little green camera and I love this one for editing because I like this one because it has a lot of the really pretty like bokeh lighting, like the little um, dots of lights or that look like hearts or flowers or whatever. That one is a favorite. Right now I am addicted to this game called Sea Star. Oops. Called Sea Stars and it's this one right here. And I'll pull it up real quick if it doesn't die. My battery's dying on my camera. But I have been playing this every day and it's so funny because my kids want to play but I'm like, "No, I'm almost there." Um, let me see. Pull it up. It's basically like Super Mario Brothers. Um and you like have to go through these things and like collect. I changed my coins to little cupcakes um, and you avoid the seahorses and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna wanna finish this game instead of finishing the video. But anyways, I am so addicted to this game. Um, and then another app that I have been using since I had my baby, if you are a breastfeeding mom, um, this one called Feed Baby. And what I love about this is when you go in, I'm gonna cover my daughter's info there. But um, see, so you just press which side you are feeding from, like say you press left, and then it it's a timer. So, and then when you're done, you just press stop. And then it keeps a log of when you fed your baby from which side. And this is just so helpful, especially in the beginning stages of your baby because it helps so much with I could never remember like which side and I had bracelets and I had all this stuff this is just good because you know exactly when they ate how much they ate how long they ate and then it'll kind of tell you when it's time to feed the baby like according to the schedule that you input does that make sense like so if your baby eats every three hours then you know at three hours it'll say time to feed baby or whatever just so you're kind of aware. So anyways, I think that is it. Um, if you have a favorites video, please link it. I love watching favorite videos, except I feel like I end up feeling like I need everything. So, so anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. My Instagram and Facebook is at a little about a lot. Um, I don't really, I feel like Twitter is kind of like, err, but my Twitter is little about a lot because a little about a lot was like way too long. So I had to cut off the A. So anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.